I'm here at the Regalo Kite Festival here in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. People from all over the world come here to fly their kites on the same sand dunes that the Wright brothers used to fly the very first airplane. Now, did you know that the Chinese were the first people to fly kites? Almost 3,000 years ago, the Chinese built kites out of silk and bamboo. For years, the kite has been thought of as a trivial toy, but history tells us that the kite is so much more than a toy. Throughout history, kites have been used by civil engineers to construct bridges, and perhaps most famously, by Ben Franklin to study electricity. Why even NASA has studied kites? Matter of fact, this kite festival is named for a famous NASA researcher and his work with the flexible wing. Mr. Francis Regalo, known as the father of hang gliding, created the paraglider. That was one of the possible design solutions for returning a space capsule back to Earth. Mr. Regalo is here today for this kite festival. He has given me some background on how a flexible wing works. Want to know more? Visit the NASA Connect website. And you know, Van, if you'd like to fly, we can go out there and go hang gliding. Oh, wow, um, that'd be great. Yeah, uh, right now? Right now, let's All go. All right, <laughs> let's go. We'll be back in just a few moments to catch up with Van, but right now we're here at Windy Manio, North Carolina. Actually, we're at the Dare County Airport where Air Venture 98 is just about ready to get underway. Air Venture 98, now that's an air race for experimental aircraft. But not too far from here is Kitty Hawk, which is the site of the first historic powered air flight in 1903. The Wright brothers changed the world forever when Orville Wright went up into the air for the first successful heavier-than-air flight. This machine was just one step in a broad experimental program that began with a glider kite that they built in 1899. Not only did they build the first successful plane, but they built the first wind tunnel, and they had to find out for themselves the dynamics of lift, drag, weight, and thrust on a shape. Ever since the Wright brothers successfully tested their flying machine off the sand dunes of Kitty Hawk, we've seen a multitude of designers, builders, and adventurers trying to take their machines to someplace faster, farther, and higher. Well, that's what Air Venture 98 is all about. It honors those people. They will set off right here from historic North Carolina and set sail across the skies to Oshkosh, Wisconsin, where they are set to kick off the largest experimental aircraft air show in North America, Oshkosh. Aviation enthusiasts annually gather in Oshkosh to witness firsthand new design concepts and technologies that could open up new vistas to the field of aeronautical engineering and to personal and commercial aircraft venues. AirVenture brings out many different personalities and many different extraordinary looking aircraft. Joining me right now is a very special personality, Hoot Gibson, who is a former astronaut, was a commander on four missions, and has flown over 60 different airplanes. And behind me you can see the airplane he's going to be racing in. How about giving us a little lowdown on this big plane? Well, Shelley, this airplane is a Hawker Sea Fury, built by the British right after World War II. So right in the late 40s and early 50s is when these airplanes started flying. It's a really interesting bird. Uh, it's a very big, heavy, powerful machine. It weighs about 9,000 pounds. It has a 3,000 horsepower engine in it. And as you can see, it's got about a 14-foot diameter propeller. As you can see, the wings fold, yeah, of course. It yeah. used to be a carrier fighter, was what the British used mm -hmm. it for. And you always want to minimize the size of the airplane when it's time to stow oh. it away on the carrier. So you fold the wings and it takes up a lot less space. The, the wings actually cost you a little bit of weight because you've got to put in some mechanism to make the wings fold and to mm -hmm. lock the wings because of course you want to lock them when they're down. You don't want them folding up by themselves, obviously. Yeah. Well, I have a final question for you. This is what I call a tortoise and hare question. Your plane certainly is bigger than any other airplane that's going to be in this air race. So, given that, which plane do you think is going to be your closest competitor in this race? I'm not even sure, Shelley, that we're going to win this race. We do have the biggest, most powerful, heaviest airplane out here but it doesn't have any kind of guarantee that we're going to win. The other airplane that I think is real fast and may be a real problem for us is the Lancer 4 mm. with the Chevrolet V8 engine in it with the five-bladed propeller. I think he's going to be very fast. Mm. And he's going to fly a lot higher. He can be up in the 25 to 30,000 foot range. 
we're going to be quite a bit lower. We're going to be down around 20,000 feet, somewhere around there. Right. So he's going to be some real competition, I think, on this length of a race. So there's a lot of variables in here that are going to enter into this race. There really are. So stay tuned. We'll see who comes out ahead.